partially be deforested there. There's the pranker. What's going on? Well, they're setting up for elf again. What year is it? Don't know. Oh yeah, I have to remember. <laughs> 2018. Every sure. year seems to be the same, except for the last two years. But other than that, a go. What's your prediction for this hunting season? Well, I predict we're going to see elk. Now, whether we want to shoot a cow or not, I don't know. I'm going to be hard pressed not to let the ring go. I know you want to shoot a bull. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to see what happens. I think that if a cow comes along, you're, they, the, the, the feeling to kill will overcome you, and you're going to let that arrow go. I just know it. <laughs> Ronald! What's your prediction this year for hunting? Very successful because it's warm and hot and they'll be around the water trying to get the bugs off them and that's where we'll be. With success in our eyes. That's my prediction. Ooh, peas. Delicious peas. Yeah, went through the bush once with her. Did you ever go? Uh huh. And, uh, <laughs> Mike. And, uh, well, we got to get a picture of Mike putting the next one up. Okay? <laughs> You're a good yeah, crawler. When it, when it gets higher. When it gets higher? <laughs> when it gets higher, Mike. Mike's very good at it. Yeah, he doesn't like when I do the bottom step because it's about. You know, up to his high. chest. I gotta <laughs> reach it. He, he got a jump. He got a little jump. <laughs> yeah. Never try. He, he brings around one of those little black things the kids jump on. You know, a trampoline. A little trampoline. He jumps up and down. Here, try get between the two steps. <laughs> murder. Yeah. Up he goes. All the way up. Big old poplar. Trembling aspen. I hate these poplars because there's no no branches, you know? Drop it, drop it. There we go. Get me another one. I'll, I'll, I'll get up there. Let me do those. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll do it. You're very good at it. I think yeah. you are. So, tell me a story. What have we done so far? We did so much bush batching. I think I won't be able to sleep tonight for the pain. I'll get all those cramps will be coming. <laughs> but on the other hand, he's a pretty good bush basher because we didn't have to cut chainsaw one log. That's true. Hey. That's true. Hey, so yeah, yeah, not man. too bad for a bush basher. Yeah, well, the trees weren't that bad to drive through, that's for sure. So, what about your setup? What do you got for a setup there? Oh, I have a deadly setup. I've got a huge Cabela's blind overlooking several trails that intersect. Hidden away, tucked into some spruce trees. They'll never see me. And I've got a cot in there, so I'm going to sleep there. So. They'll never hear me either, they'll, unless I snore, of course. But other than that, they'll come out there in the morning, never know I'm there. They'll come to down the trail, and I will surprise them. Don't we, oh, Mike, that's a hopeless case. When you get back and look at that film, yeah. it, you'll get seasick. <laughs> I've tried to get them to the film before. Yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> He'll be seasick. Oh, he's, he's jerking the thing around and it's wiggling and... Oh. Okay, come here, show me how it's done. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. See, like, you, you know what you did just now? 
You went down the full chip. Well, yeah. Good. Then you picked it up. If you're going to move the camera, shut it off. Right, here's the end of the rope. And here's your strap. Yeah, see. Oh, this is the black one that wasn't working for you. Right? Yeah, the ratchet's one of those ones that's bent. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't really tighten very well. Not good on the tree, here. Well, you want to make sure it's secure. I hope that one's okay. Oh, I'm sure it is. Oh, baby. Uncle Ron, today you go with Michael and his wife. You Frank, can zoom that in, Ron. Frank, you go again. Yeah, I did. <laughs> now, because we can now brag there's a true true tree hugger he's got his arms wrapped around the tree oh yeah three points of contact Tell me a story. Oh, <laughs> there's the micer filming me again, eh? Oh, yeah. So what happened? Oh, it's a very, very long and mournful story. And you know what, Mike? You forgot to film us when we were up to our necks in that swamp. You're too busy getting unstuck. Holy. <laughs> well, first of all, we crossed the blasted beaver dam here and that was not an easy task I think you said it was two hours to cross that two hours beach. about an hour and 50 minutes and uh, and that was just to get across this little spot here next to camp and then the real problem started we caught a few big deadfalls that had crossed across the road but then we got to the point just before my killing tree where I was wanting to set up and lo and behold, those blasted beavers, what did they do? They built a dam and they backed up the water into the trees and, and by that time it was dark out and we just quit and turned around and came back after getting stuck a few times. I was very cagey though, I stayed on my quad and uh, Mike and Ron did the, the snorkeling. <laughs> I don't know, my boots are, I'm right up to my, uh, just above the knee there. <laughs> it's, like a, it's a film of Ron, he looks like a blue heron waiting for a frog to come by. <laughs> no, he's not, he's just having a little nap. <laughs> he gets a little rest. <laughs> he hit the rhubarb a couple of times, just like a big old jack pine falling over. <laughs> what do you think, Ron? Hey. <laughs> Uh, more like a walrus wallowing. <laughs> Thank goodness m my micers give me a hand or I'd still be in that swamp. <laughs> How's the fire? Oh, it's nice. Are you getting the steam, steam coming off of the oh, swamp? Perfect. Well, yeah. I think I'm going to have a seat there too and get my feet in the fire there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Get those puppies nice and dry. <laughs> That's not a bad fire. It's a very good fire.
Okay, you guys. Grab a smoke.